think we need to find more opportunities in social media. I don't think we're engaging millennials enough. But how do we generate buzz? I mean, we don't have our ducks in a row, right? So what's the low-hanging fruit here? It's time. Sarah! It's time. Into. Craig. Welcome to episode six of Let's Go Into the Badlands, the show where we watch, predict, speculate everything about AMC's original series, Into the Badlands. I'm Harry Trong. And I'm Jen Ju. Welcome to episode six, our final episode. Yay! We, we made, made it. it. And this last episode was the season finale. It was crazy. Like, I feel like 10 minutes in, mm -hmm. I was so, I had to pause because it got too crazy. I had to like collect myself. Let's go into it. Our plot predictions. My plot prediction was that MK was going to be a test guinea pig person. His abilities were going to be poked and prodded at. I was wrong. That didn't happen. Nope. Quinn just went straight for it. Quinn just went straight for it. He kidnapped MK. He took him to this big fight and then sliced him and said, have at it. <laughs> My prediction last week was that Vale was going to be mad at Sunny because Quinn kind of told her that Sunny was there when mm -hmm. her parents died um, and not want to run away with Sunny anymore. I was only half right. Vale did get mad at Sunny, but ultimately she did start packing that bag to take off with Sunny to the River King. Mm -hmm. Our second kind of prediction is the plot twist prediction. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let Harry go first because he was actually right. I was 100% right. I predicted last week that jade poisoned herself to frame lydia in the very first scene uh lydia's like what happened quinn comes out he's like you poisoned her <laughs> oh that was There's so good frame. dude yeah. that was really good he, he he found some kind of uh like flower of the poppy or something like that he basically banned exiled lydia because he thinks that she framed Jade. Yeah, and we that's pretty much she confirmed. Um, yeah. It's confirmed because Jade gives her this look like, yeah. I got you. Oh, what happened? What happened? And then whenever Lydia's leaving the room, Jade's like, hey. so booyah. Got it. Southern accent. Yay, Harry. I got two. Progress. Are you proud of me, mama? <laughs> so I had like another prediction that's for the same plot line, but um, I predicted that it was Ryder who poisoned Jade because he was just mm. really mad at her. Clearly that's not the case. Although I think the most awkward moment of the show happened. Lydia tells Ryder that she knows that Jade is sleeping with Ryder and Quinn to his face. That's a weird conversation to have with your mom that you're sleeping with the same girl as your dad and her husband. Yeah, it's just this triangle square thing is... Yeah. Mm. Mark of death. Mark of death. We predict who will die in the episode. I predicted Zephyr. I predicted Jacoby. Both or maybe MK in this uh, big final fight, it's MK versus like everybody. So it's him against Zephyr, Jacoby, and Ryder. And, and Sunny. He, and, he and, kicks Sunny's yeah, butt yeah, too. Yeah, and Sunny. And he beats them all. He throws Sunny through a wall. He throws Zephyr into a wall. He makes Ryder run away. I think he throws Jack Jacoby we into a wall. We don't see what happens to Jacoby. Yeah, like, so we don't, we don't know what happens. We don't know if no. anybody's dead because I think Zephyr's kind of mm. dead, oh. but I, I can't tell. Um, Jacoby's body wasn't even anywhere to be seen. I feel like they just skipped a chunk during this fight mm. and we don't know where anybody is. Yeah, it ends with the River King capturing Sonny. He has him chained up in the bottom of his boat because in the beginning of the episode, Sonny tricks the River King. Um, the one major thing I think we all have to talk about, like the one major thing that happens in this episode is that Sonny kills Quinn. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry, it's like we're talking about all these like non-important things. Yeah. Yeah. And, and here we, sorry, yeah. not to. Mm. Quinn calls Sonny out about betraying him and then he captures Sonny, chains him up, but then Waldo helps Sonny escape. And then Sonny goes to the final fight he stabs Quinn. He's just like, you're going to be the last person I kill. <sighs> I mean, that really mm -hmm. felt like came out of nowhere. Killing time. Mm -hmm. And then I we find out that, that um, Waldo and the Widow are actually working together. The reason the Widow's mm -hmm. able to kind of get into where the Baron is. And, and that's why Waldo's alive. Oh, uh, dude, I totally just realized that right that's now. That's right. I did not put that together. Two episodes ago, 
the widow came and invaded Quinn's camp and killed all the clippers except for Waldo. Now it makes sense that he was alive because he was working with the widow the entire time. Yeah. Remember when you were all like, how does she even get in? There's like a barrier, there's like yeah, a wall. That's true. That's. Oh. I feel like this episode was so intense from start to finish. I just can't believe this is the end of the season. Like, I really mm. wish the rest of the season was this intense. And because it's only six episodes, it's like so unfinished, yeah. right? It's like a mid-season finale, yeah. which is ridiculous because it's a season finale. Well, since we don't really know what's going to happen and when season two might come out, we're kind of just thinking about what's going to happen in season two. And I think the three main kind of nice protagonist characters are going to try to find their way back to each other. I think that's going to happen mm -hmm. a lot in season two, and that's gonna be what season two is gonna mainly be about. Um, but I'm so surprised they killed off Quinn. I'm really surprised they well, killed Well, but then you have the theory that he's not dead. Uh, I don't, it's not really a theory, it's more like, since there's, you, you got, we have to see a body before absolutely confirming Harry's all he's about going the body. to die. Cause, I don't know, you just, you need a body. We had about a total of 15 potential predictions, even though some weeks we cheated and did multiples, but mm -hmm. let's not, let's get, let's not. Take that into consideration. I'm going to calculate the percentage of how accurate we are. Out of 15 potential predictions, Harry I got, got... two right, which should put us at about... Wait, I can't do math. Four, four two, percent? Two divided by 15 times 100. 13.3 percent! Ooh, and I'm at... Jen was I'm probably... I'm at 20 percent. 20 percent. Yay. Do we bet on anything? I don't think so. We should have. Dang. Things to build on for next season. Thanks for watching our show, Let's Go Into the Badlands. We uh, enjoyed it. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks to our top commentators who've been watching us week after week. Ray Watts, uh, we know there's an anime lover. Uh, JB, JB, the reviewer. N and Nina. Nina, who looks forward to our videos every week as much as she looks forward to the actual episodes of Into the Badlands. Thank you for watching. Thanks, thanks. That's so, it. Hope you enjoyed our little adventures. Wait, that doesn't, that doesn't, nope. that doesn't. So thank you again for this season and thank you for joining us as we went into, into the, the Badlands. Bad